Every day we wake up to the same dreadful noise in our ears, too scared to face our fears, so we take the easy way out. We follow the routine, we play into the system. We survive, but most of us don't thrive. Too scared to do the things that truly make us feel alive. Unwilling to take the dive and free ourselves of the chains placed on us by society's standards. We're programmed to not question our path or existence, but follow the plan and check off the steps. Get into college, graduate from college, get a job, get married, have kids, and so on. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about time and life. A few months ago, my uncle passed away from pancreatic cancer. It came out of nowhere, and I guess that's why I feel like it still hasn't hit me yet. Within about a month, his life expectancy rapidly declined from two years to a few months to a few weeks. Suddenly, he was gone. It made me begin to question how so many of us navigate through this world so focused on having more. More money, more things, more followers on social media. The truth is that we all need to slow down, take a step back, and observe. This concept is best said through Bon Iver's song, Woods. The lyrics in the song that sparked this idea are, I'm building a still to slow down the time. It's a subtle reminder that time doesn't stop for anybody. Hold on to those special moments because you never know when you're going to lose them. Eventually you'll get to the end of the road and think back on your life and you'll realize. You'll realize that you should have taken that trip with your family or gone on that extra late night Whataburger run instead of staying cooped up in the library studying. Should have started that YouTube channel or written that book. The rat race of life consumes us all, but if you don't slow down every once in a while, you'll miss things. To slow down the time People love confining ideas and experiences into small, neat packages that are easier for others to follow and understand, but life isn't so singular. We're labeled, stereotyped, and judged by others around us because it's the easy thing to do. This idea of singularity is why we're told what it means to be a man, be successful, and be happy. Those who have professional freedom are chastised by suit-wearing, cubicle-sitting individuals who are too afraid to take the risk and chase their dreams. This confinement doesn't end even when we pass. All of our life experiences are wrapped up within the dash marked between our birth and expiration date at our funeral. All those moments, people, places, reduced to a dash. So, when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you lived your dash?
the show.